The former Massachusetts governor was tapped to lead the nonprofit Education at Work. Let's get into it. And welcome to Innovate Marketing Daily. Today is October 19th, 2023. My name is Sean P. Neal, and we are brought to you by MyPodcast.media. MyPodcast.media produces amazing podcasts for brands just like yours. So if you're considering launching a podcast, make sure you visit MyPodcast.media. All right, we've got a great show for you today. So without further ado. And thanks so much for joining me on this 19th day of October. It is Thursday, and we're rolling towards the weekend here. So I uh, today's story comes to us from Tempe, Arizona. And so, of course, I grabbed some fun facts about Tempe to get this started off on the right foot. And the fun facts today come from TempeTourism.com. I will link to that in the show notes so that you can check this out for yourself. All right, so did you know? Did you know? This is for you. Arizona State College Gamage, or ASU Gamage, is among the largest university-based performing arts presenters in the world. It's the home theater of the Desert Financial Broadway Across America, Arizona and the Beyond series. And that historic 3,000-seat hall was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. There you go. So if you're in, around, visiting Tempe, Arizona, going to be, make sure you check out ASU Gamage. And while you're sharing this fun fact with all of your friends, families, and coworkers, make sure you also tell them about this other great story that's coming out of Tempe, Arizona, where Education at Work, a national nonprofit that connects top employers with college students nationwide, announced Jane Swift, the former governor of Massachusetts, as its next president. Pause for an applause there. So let's talk a little bit about Education at Work, who they are, what they do, and then we'll come back to this story about this new appointment. So Education at Work, or EAW, was founded in 2012 and is a national work-based learning nonprofit that helps students graduate with less debt and more skills, connections, and confidence by connecting them with flexible paid employment opportunities. So nationally, here's some some statistics for you. Nationally, an estimated 600,000 college students participate in the federal work-study program, often in on-campus jobs. So by partnering with both colleges and Fortune 500 companies, including companies like Discover Financial Services and Fidelity, education at work enables college students to gain valuable real-world experience while earning significant hourly wages up to $5,250 in tuition assistance annually to offset the cost of college. That's huge. So now let's talk about this appointment. Jane Swift takes on the new role after nearly two decades as an executive advisor and company builder working at the intersection of learning and economic opportunity. She most recently served as an operating partner at the private investment firm Vistria Group and as the president of Learn Launch, a national nonprofit education accelerator focused on improving collaboration between policymakers, practitioners, and the technology sector. So Jane Swift previously served as CEO of Middlebury Interactive Languages, an education startup launched in partnership with Middlebury College. She's been a longtime advocate for excellence in education and was recently appointed by U.S. Secretary of Education uh, as a member of the National Assessment Governing Board, NAGB, you may have heard of that, which oversees the National Assessment of Educational Progress otherwise known as the nation's report card. She's also lectured and held fellowships at various universities, uh, including Boston College School of Law and the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, and served as the co-chair of the selection committee for the 2023 Aspen Prize for Community College Excellence. So again, huge congratulations. Um, Since its inception in 2012, Education at Work has awarded over $100 million in combined wages and tuition assistance to nearly 8,100 students nationwide. I think this is worth pointing out here. Participating students are 25% more likely to graduate from their institution 
and to do so with 40% less student debt in comparison to their institutional peers. A little bit more knowledge as we exit this, 75% of the participating students identify as students of color, and 50% are first-generation college graduates. So, a lot going on in this uh, in today's story, but make sure wherever you're watching or listening, please reach out in the comment section and give a huge, huge congratulations to both Jane Swift and Education at Work for this new appointment and the future, where they're headed, because this new leadership role will, of course, help shape that future. And we'll see that play out over the next 12 months and beyond. So please congratulate everyone there. Big round of applause. There you go. And of course, if you would like to help us continue to go on, we're here Monday through Friday on Innovate Marketing Daily. And we would love your like, your follow. Heck, subscribe. We'd love to have that. Have you as a subscriber so that you can be with us on these great stories every weekday. Until we meet again, my friends, please stay safe and be well. See ya.